warm welcome to our respected father principal, Reverend Father Flobi. Rector, teachers and my dear friends. My name is Avishai Devekar. And my name is the Rice Gomes. We are the compares for today's class assembly conducted by standards 7A and B. Our theme is love for nature. Dear friends, when we read the Bible, the very first chapter of the first book, Genesis, tells us that in the beginning, God made the earth and heaven. Our dear God commanded, and there was earth, day and night, water and plants, fruits, living things like birds, animals, and finally, he made human beings in his own image, and he named them man and woman. God Almighty gave them his blessing and told them to be fertile and multiply. It was God's first blessing ever, and along with that, he gave us one responsibility, that man should take care of all these things, and we should be thankful for this abundance beautiful abundance in nature. Now let us see a small video clip.
Moscow always trained his boys to become honest and good citizens. Let us think what we all can do to protect our beautiful nature, our Mother Earth. Each and every living thing on this earth is a wonderful gift from God to us. I now request Master Zidane Castellino to come and give a speech on our topic for today. Nature has enough for man's needs, but not for man's greed. Good morning, one and all present here today. I, Zidane Castellino, am here to share my views on the topic nature. Nature has given us so many resources. It has given us things that are very useful for us. We use these resources in almost all of our daily activities. But what have we humans given in return? We cut trees. We follow the practice of animal poaching and many other actions that are harmful to nature. Is this our duty? Of course not. We should do our very best to save this beautiful God-given gift. Earth is our planet. And most importantly, we need it for the continuity of life. Saving Mother Earth is the most important social awareness which every individual must know about. Social awareness will help bring some positive changes like reducing our carbon footprint. To save our planet and Mother Nature, we must plant trees. Trees give us the most important element. Oxygen, without which we will be non-existent. Life on Mother Earth would come to a total end. Following the three R's is imperative. To reduce, reuse and recycle. Rainwater harvesting, solar panels and use of organic products is a must. If we can make this change in a small way in our neighbourhood and communities, it will go a long way in saving nature and Mother Earth. Let us unite and save our planet so that future generations will have something beautiful to look forward to. Plant a tree today for a better future and a greener one tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Zidan. We can learn a lot from trees. They are always grounded, but never stop reaching heavenward. Plant a tree and get air for free. There is no life without green. Take care of nature and it will take care of you. We will now view a small dance performed by our classmates. Tick, 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 tick. Kasam ye khaere. Tick, 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 tick. Plastic tick ma paere. Tick 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 ये दम भी घुट जाएगा कि कुदरत की हानस नस में जहर ये बस जाएगा प्लास्टिक के हम सब मोहताज हैं कैसा ये समाज है Toxic, but I is a 
सरल उपाय रे सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक को हम कह दे बाय बाय रे कसम ये खाए रे Kitty 
trees walk away, determined to cut down the human. My dear friends, I want you to look after the kitty trees for me. I don't want them getting into any mischief. Disappointed by Papa Tree's reply, the little kitty trees brainwash the other animals and trees and advise them to cut down the humans. Oh, my sweet forest! Papa Tree, help! Help! What's all this fuss about? Oh no! humans down? Don't you know what's happened to the other trees? Because they've cut the humans down, they've been suffocated because they don't have any air to breathe. The peaceful woods is all that's left. The kitty trees and the rest of the animals and trees realize their fault. A sudden thunderclap turns the trees back to their original selves. The humans and trees live in harmony. The peaceful woods and the whispering forest has been brought to life again. Take care of trees and they will take care of you. For this eye-opening and wonderful skit. Dear friends, on this earth, all things are beautiful and this life is an inspiration for each one of us. The earth is our home and it is our duty to keep it healthy and beautiful. Now, I request my classmates to sing a song for our loving Mother Nature. My dear classmates, the flame of the environmental conversation and protection has lit in our hearts. My fellow students, let us start contributing from today itself. Do not leave your tabs running while doing tasks. Otherwise, soon there will not be enough water to live. 
Yes, so please, please care for the environment. There is no plan B. Take care of trees and it will take care of you. It's time to stop our grief and start saving trees for our bloom. I now invite Father Principal, Reverend Father Flowey, to kindly address us with his inspirational words. Respected fathers, teachers, parents, and you, my dear students, it gives me immense joy and happiness to be addressing you during your class assembly. At the onset, I want to say a word of appreciation to your class teachers and also to the parents and you, my dear students, for taking this, this initiative, for coming together, for practicing and for putting up this wonderful assembly. We are still in the midst of a lockdown due to the pandemic and we are hoping that things will open up soon. This pandemic has been one of its kind. None so far have gone through a phase that we have gone through. And uh, this pandemic we have noticed. We have seen the worst and we have also seen the best. We saw the worst initially when there was a lot of chaos and confusion. We saw the migration of migrants, deaths of migrants on the road. We saw also people because of no initial know-how of the sickness dying and the chaos and the fright we experienced. And we have also seen the best. We have seen how people have come forward and uh, have helped the unfortunate. People how they have helped with food, with clothing, also at times with providing shelter, especially to the migrants. And so my dear students, during this assembly, we are focusing on a theme of love, kindness, love, appreciation. And we are reminded that no matter what, no matter what situation that we go through, we have to bring out the best in us. And I hope that this assembly and this phase of the pandemic we have gone through brings out the best in us and forgetting about our security, our comfort, we also reach out in love, in kindness, in appreciation to the unfortunate. This is my wish and my prayer. And I also pray that this pandemic ends soon and, then, and life gets back to normal. Let this be our prayer. Keep safe and be hopeful. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, Father Principal for your inspirational talk. Now, I call upon Mr. Anushila to give the vote of thanks. Good day to all of you. Let's love nature. The chirping birds make sound so sweet. The clear blue sky, oh so high. The sea is so deep and intense. The many gardens and their fins. The mountains so big and huge. The forest giving out some clues. The intensity of the wind and air tells us, look around, something is there. Yes, I am nature and love me to the core. Yes. I am nature. Nature helps us in many ways, be it health-wise, be it the ways we want to enjoy our life or maybe nourish our body. It reduces our stress and anxiety, lifts up our mood, strengthens our immunity, helps us to focus. Nature mends broken hearts, cluttered minds, and troubled souls. Nature never betrays anyone. If you love it, 
it will always love you back and if you destroy it it will surely lead to your destruction stop cribbing about pollution that we have created let us all join our hands to save our dear planet remember the nature does not belong to us but we belong to the nature remember students we don't want to protect the environment but let us create a world where the environment will not need protection you cannot protect the environment unless you empower people you inform them and you help them understand that these resources are their own that they must protect them we at school in our small ways try to empower people through these messages through our assemblies and different activities which we conduct i would like to take this opportunity to thank all our salesian fathers for giving us a platform where we can reach out to many a big thank you to our rector father solomon rapol for his constant guidance and support our principal father flovi de souza thank you father for your encouragement and always being there in planning the different activities and programs for our students and encouraging them our administrator father jesu robinson and our youth coordinator father renol lemos a big thank you for your guidance and support i would like to thank the students of standard 7th a and 7th b for presenting to us this beautiful assembly on loving nature thank you dear students for all the hard work and efforts you have put in in bringing out and presenting to us this beautiful assembly thank you to both the class teachers of 7th a and 7th b miss renu and miss casilda for helping our students to bring in their talents thank you for constantly guiding them and supporting them a big thank you to this team of 7th a and 7th b the students and the class teachers thank you miss philomena for your technical support a big thank you to you my dear parents and family members of our students it is because of you that during this hard pandemic time that our students have been able to participate in the different activities conducted by the school online thank you my dear parents for instilling in them the love not only for people around but even for nature let's continue doing this good work let's start loving nature we will all end up loving ourselves love nature but leave her wild have a good day all of you